In this video, we're gonna find out who has the best summer drink. Is it Fago Firework? Is it Prime Ice Pop? Or Mountain Dew's new Summer Freeze? Let's go. Yo, what's up guys, it's Vito, and today we're gonna try to figure out which one of these is the best summer drink. Yo, what's up guys, it's Chris, it's Vito's dad, and we have been planning to do this since I saw this was coming out however many months ago when it got leaked. We had the Fago, mm -hmm. we had the Prime, we were just waiting for the Mountain Dew Summer Freeze and Summer Freeze Zero Sugar to come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try all four right here for you guys and figure out which one of these is the best. What do you think, Vito? What do you think is gonna be the best? You've had them all. I think the Fago or the Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. mm. Now Fago, as you know, we tested this several years ago. This is the 24 ounce Fago Firework. This was the very first, lo and it's a local Detroit company here too who came out with this bomb pop type firework slash summer popsicle flavor. I think it was in 2020, summer of 2020, or is it, and it went viral immediately. But it's a big bottle, it's 360 calories. Fago said, yo, they just came out with a 12, I think an eight pack or a 12 pack, and they make these now in 12 ounce cans. So I am looking for those or, yeah, I'm looking for those yeah. right now because we don't have any yet. And then, of course, the Prime. The Prime. So who's who's the guys who come out with the Prime? KSI and Logan Paul. Yeah, those guys came out with this uh, summer flavor. Was it last summer this came yeah. out? Okay. Maybe a new flavor coming soon. And then we got Mountain Dew, Summer Freeze. That was just released, what, two weeks ago? And then we just found the zero sugar version of it last week. So... We've got four cups. We're gonna try all four. So we've already got our boards written. Yeah. We got Fago. Fago Prime Summer Freeze and then the Zero. We're gonna rate each one, and then at the end we'll show you. We'll see what we have to do. All right. So Fago Firework, delicious. Local Detroit company. Been drinking Fago since I was this high and that's a long time because i am old right vito <laughs> mm -hmm. genuine fago genuine genuine that's what it says genuine 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 you say tomato i say tomato syrup Smell it. syrup 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 all right here we go we got some glasses let's we'll take a look at each color too yeah, I think two are this one. Be white. This one is really definitely you got the fizziness of the uh, the pop. We call it here in Detroit pop. Yeah, it's just like it's like, clear or it's a kind of a cloudy, strong smell of a, a bomb pop type. Smells good. Sounds How good. How much sugar is in that? Yeah, this is the, this one definitely because well because it's a 24 ounce bottle. These are only 12 ounces, so this is half of, of us. Yeah. So if you put two of these together, so like for instance, this is 360. This is, well, this is zero. This is 160, so this is 320. So if you drink two of these, it will be the equivalent of this. So drinking two of these is still less than one of these. With 360, 320 for those, so. Dang. Let's give it a try, Fago Firework. That's good. It tastes like you're drinking a like a melted bomb pot. The color kind of kind of um, it's missing one of the flavors. It's got the I think white has the most. The red. It's got the cherry. I think the red. I, I think, think it's missing the blue, blue. raspberry. Yeah. I think it's missing the blue raspberry, but it's still good. That's one. Now we'll try the good old Prime. Only 20 calories, and it's got mostly good stuff in it. Yeah. Zero fat. Zero cholesterol. Six grams of carbs. 
Uh, only two grams of sugar. And uh, this whole 16.9 ounce bottle, only 20 calories. So uh, let's open this one up. Go ahead and smell that. Yeah. And we will pour this one and tell you. So this one also looks a bit cloudy. More see-through than the Fago Firework, though. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. This is made with coconut water, though. Coconut water, BCAAs, which are branch chain amino acids, B vitamins, antioxidants, electrolytes. It's good. Yeah, we were drinking a lot of this last summer oh. when it was nice and nice it's and still on the table. Oh well. You could drink this regularly. Bad. It's only 20 calories per bottle, so you could handle that. I mean, 20 uh, or uh, two grams of carbs, right? We gotta watch the sugar. That's all. Two grams of sugar. <laughs> Here, look, you look at it while I try it. Six carbs, two sugar. This is very sweet, even though it doesn't have a whole lot of, lot of sugar in it. It doesn't got a weird aftertaste either, so. The prime is good. I, the prime is good, but not kind of in the same category since this is not a pop. Yeah. Or a soda. Doesn't have So, that, uh, uh, doesn't have a, whatchamacallit. We're just, we're just testing it all together because, well, it's red, white, and blue. Yeah. Next up, what we just tested like two weeks ago, right? Mountain Dew Summer Freeze, what they're calling a dew with a blast of summer Americana. Still from the original 12 pack I bought here. <laughs> I think this is only like the third one out of the pack, right? Yep, blue. We got blue. So this one right off the bat, I mean... It's windshield washer fluid blue, or it's, um, uh, what's it called? Window cleaner? Oh, like, Windex. Uh, Windex. Give it a try. It's good. I do like the Summer Freeze. The Summer Freeze is a good Mountain Dew flavor. Summer Freeze is a darn good summer flavor. I'm trying to get all the flavors out of this, but I don't think I'm getting all the flavors out of this either. I think this one has blue, white, and then no red. Maybe? It's like there's there's more pronounced flavors in each of these. Yeah. Well, I should say in this one, I mean, this one is not really not carbonated or anything, but it's good though. Summer Freeze. I think, and here's the thing, this is really cold. I think it, you can taste the flavors a little more when it's a little bit warmer. This is still ice cold too. Same thing, but zero sugar version. It's got the black tab. I think it's darker, <coughs> the darker uh, image. I also Same heard color. today um, Mountain Dew redid uh, the artwork maybe a little bit. On they did? Spark. Oh. Won't do Spark, so we gotta find that. Is that the one with the car on it? Yeah. It's very similar to yeah. the regular. What's well, the zero version? Very close. Tiny aftertaste. Tiny. But still very, very good. So, instead of rating them, because we've already rated all of these, mm -hmm. place one, two, three, right. or four. All right, are you ready to reveal? And we'll find out exactly who is number one and who is last. Three, two, one, reveal. I don't uh, see what you put. Yeah, me neither. So, let's see, what did you put? Let's see. Fago oh. one. Hey, we both put Fago number one. We both yeah, uh, put Prime number four. Both Summer Freeze two and Summer Freeze. We ex hey, all right. The exact same thing. Yes. All of them are good, guys. All of them are good. I only included this because this is red, white, and blue. It really shouldn't be included. 
with the sodas. But anyways, Summer Freeze. And if you are in the Detroit area or whoever distributes Fago where you are, pick up one of these. They are also selling it now in 20-ounce bottles as well as the 12-ounce cans. So give it a try. And then, of course, your Mountain Dews. Summer Freezes will be around for another month. And then they're going to kick off the new Baja season. So looking forward to that. And in the meantime, drink some Prime if you need to be rehydrated. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Ready, Vito? Yep. Bye! Bye.